Yo, what's up guys, Yusuf here from TechDroids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And AMD is finally out with their second generation of Ryzen CPUs and in today's video I take you guys over $800 gaming PC featuring the new Ryzen 5 2600. So in this video I take you guys over the path that you need to build this PC. Towards the end of the video we'll talk about the performance and the future upgrades that you can do. So yeah, stick around till the end and also all the parts that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description to Amazon US. And those are affiliate links as always so if you want to help the channel out and in turn help me make more videos, go ahead, buy from those. But you won't be able to get the CPU and the motherboard just right now, like you will have to wait until April 19 until they finally launch and are available in retail. And yeah, with that being said, subscribe to this channel and hit that notification thingy so you don't miss out on my upcoming Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 second generation builds. And with that being said, let's get on with it. So for the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 2600. It's $199 CPU with 6 cores and 12 threads, so it's a beast in multi-threaded performance. It is unlocked so you can overclock it and, you know, get some extra performance out of it. It has XFR2 and Precision Boost 2, comes clocked at 3.4GHz on the base and can go up to 3.9GHz on boost, has 19MB of cache and comes with its own cooler. And yeah, it's a really good CPU for $199. Now to house that CPU, we have the Gigabyte X470 AORS Ultra Gaming. Big name but big features as well. This motherboard is absolutely loaded with features, has the AM4 socket type, the new X470 chipset, DDR4, USB 3.1 Gen 1, USB Type-C, USB 3.0, HDMI, O clocking support, XFR2, Precision Boost 2, everything is there and it looks good as well. It also got some RGB action going on and is an ATX size motherboard and also has 4 RAM slots so you can add memory up to your heart's content and retails for only $139 and I think it's totally worth it. Now for RAM, we have 8GB of Crucial Bliss 6 port LT at 2666MHz. Now I know AMD processors like more and fast RAM, but for $82, I think 8GB should be more than enough in 2018 for gaming and doing modern day-to-day -day tasks. And if you want ever in the future, if you feel the need, you can add 16 or 32GB as our motherboard has 4 slots, so you can add RAM up to your heart's content. And for $82, this RAM will do its job. Now for mass storage, we have the 1TB WD Blue hard drive, 7200RPM, 64MB of cache and that small 3.5 inch form factor for only $43. This will be able to store most of the stuff you have like your Steam library, your movies, your games, whatever you want to. This is your mass storage drive. And I highly recommend adding a SSD to get the best performance, make your PC you know, feel really fast in terms of UI responsiveness, app opening times and things like that. A SSD will be linked down below. It is optional, so if you can afford it, please go ahead and add one. It will really improve the performance of your PC significantly. Now to power this whole build up, we have the EVGA 600W B1. 80 plus Peron certified, three years of warranty. 600W should be more than enough to power this whole build up and also leave some headroom for future upgrades. And yeah, for $39, this should do the job as well. Now for the graphics card and the star of the show, we have the Gigabyte GeForce GDX 1060. The three gigabyte edition as we have here, it has three gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, you know, clocked at 1556 on the base and 1771 on the boost in gaming mode. It also has an OC mode which will give you some extra clock speeds and you can get some better performance. One HDMI, three display ports, one DVI, DirectX 12 VR ready and also can support 8K display resolution. And for $259, this is a really good graphics card. The prices keep varying so I'd say go ahead and buy it now and don't blame it on me later if you cannot find this for the same price. But yeah, it's a really good graphics card and should do the job in this build. Now to wrap this whole build up, we have the Corsair Carbide 270R. Really simple, minimal looking case, ATX mid tower in terms of the form factor, USB 3.0 and audio jacks, liquid cooling support, it's got the space, it's got the looks and for $49 you can really not complain. It's not meant for showing off components but it's gonna look really minimal and really simple. I'll also add in things like a better case with you know a clear side panel, if you can afford that go ahead add it to your build but that kind of wraps it up for the parts guys. So that's about it for the parts now let's talk about performance and some future upgrades. Performance should be great the new second generation Ryzen CPUs won't be you know like mind-blowingly better than the first generation but they've got their incremental upgrades. Now they're based off of the 12 nanometer you know FinFET technology so they will be more power efficient and better. The CPUs have a 65 watt TDP so they're going to be efficient it's going to be powerful like 6 core 12 threads multi-threaded applications like editing streaming should do well on the CPU Gaming should be a breeze, 1080p and even 1440p in some cases depending upon the settings you choose. Modern AAA titles, you can fly through them, 1080p medium to max settings, 60fps. Esports titles, again you can fly through them, 1440p medium to max settings, over 100fps and you'll get the silky smooth gaming. 
and you can hook this up to 144 hertz monitor and do some really good gaming as well. Now talking about future upgrades, the graphics card is upgradable, you can go up to something more powerful, the CPU is upgradable, you can go up to Ryzen 7, RAM is upgradable, add as much as you want, and the storage finally also will be upgradable. You need not worry about the power supply because it should be enough for whatever you want to add, and that should be it. I'd also recommend adding an SSD for you know added performance and just improved UI responsiveness. And with that being said guys, if you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful, go ahead and thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. All the CPUs will be featured on my channel. I'll be making individual builds on each CPU, so stay tuned. And also guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.